Thank you, AJ. We really are looking forward to some nicer weather coming up, but we got to get through a couple of days, don't we? Yes, at least tomorrow, maybe Monday as well. Not too bad outside. It was just a bit chilly and kind of gloomy. Uh, 47 degrees coming out of Portland right now. Those clouds have moved on in. They did this evening. And it's just kind of stayed a bit gray out there. We'll keep some cloud coverage in overnight tonight. East Southeast breeze about seven miles per hour. And uh, we may see that pick up uh, for moments as we go into our Sunday. Now, still a couple showers out there. Notice that we have one cell kind of moving in towards areas of probably Troutdale and through uh, the western edge of the Columbia River Gorge. Then we have another patch of moisture there just west of Corvallis. This is all going to be streaming up to the north and northeast as we go through uh, the next hour or two. Uh, yeah, that's a pretty good shower there, and it's going to be really brief, though. Notice how it's dry just to the south, so this will pass on through. And but we have another chance for a little bit of rain on our Sunday because of this system just down to the southwest. It's going to continue to usher in some moisture as we go into our Sunday. And with it, we may even see a couple thunderstorms for the forecast tomorrow. So for Portland, at least some of the neighborhoods around Portland, I think this is how your Sunday is going to kind of break down. It'll begin with some clouds, maybe a stray shower. I'll call them rogue showers. It shouldn't be much. And by the time we get into the afternoon, I'm hoping for a couple sun breaks. I think the clearest part of the day, as far as some blue sky, will probably be towards the end of it, right before sunset, maybe somewhere around 5 to 7 p.m. Temperatures warming up to about 7 p.m. I'll show you on the cloud cast. That red means it's just going to be overcast, uh, really not much going on. But we head into the afternoon hours. Watch what happens through the Willamette Valley. We start to see some openings there, and hopefully we'll get some sunshine to kind of wrap up the day. And then by the time we get to late Sunday night, it looks like it's going to be pretty clear from about Salem to the north. As far as thunderstorms go tomorrow, I think the greatest threat for that will be south of Salem to about Eugene and off towards the east. And then areas of central and eastern Oregon with that area of low pressure nearby and some support with the jet uh, stream. Possibly we'll see a couple of thunderstorms develop and fire up pretty quick. So maybe some small hail and a little bit of lightning and thunder. All right, so observed temperatures over the last couple of days have been chilly because our normal high is about 60 degrees. Notice we had about one day there over the last two weeks where we actually got to our average high. Tomorrow, our average high is 60 degrees, so we're already starting to warm on up. And we should be pretty close to the days or so before we start to see things warm up a bit Wednesday and Thursday with some high pressure rolling on in. So we'll kind of ditch this cold air here in that uh, trough that's leaving us with the chance for some thunderstorms tomorrow. And then we'll invite this ridge of high pressure, which is going to kind of clear things out and acting as it's a shield. So notice that we have a couple showers south of Portland tomorrow that's heading into the afternoon there. Here's 830. Uh, most of that is going to be well down to the south. Uh, seven day forecast have 67 on Wednesday. Really beautiful weather there. 69 on Thursday, a chance for some 70 degree temperatures. We haven't hit 70 yet. We might get it by midweek. All right, keep it right here. We'll be right back after the break.